Welcome to the channel. If you're heading to the Canadian Grand Prix this weekend, here are a few tips and tricks that you can use to be well prepared for the event. Use the Arrive Can app to save time. If you are traveling by air, land or sea from outside of Canada, you can provide essential information before you arrive using the Arrive Can app. Arrive Can stands for Arrive Canada and is a user-friendly digital tool to help travelers comply with Canada's border measures quickly and securely. Within 72 hours before your arrival in Canada, you can use the app to submit a copy of your passport, your contact and travel details, and your COVID-19 vaccination information. Be ready to show your Arrive Can receipt when seeking entry into Canada. Knowing the location and the track layout. The Canadian Grand Prix takes place at the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, which is located on an island in the St. Lawrence Seaway. The recommended way to get to the circuit on the race weekend is to take the metro. The circuit is 4.36 kilometers long, so you will have to identify where to walk based on your seating. After exiting the metro on St. Helens Island, you will need to walk across one of two bridges to the circuit. The closer Cosmos Bridge is good for the grandstands near the hairpin, while the further Concord Bridge is good for the grandstands 1, 11, and 12. Walk times could vary between 10 and 30 minutes. You can also walk from downtown Montreal all the way to the circuit using the Concord Bridge. Per my research, driving is not recommended since there's no reserved parking at the circuit. There is a taxi drop-off point on St. Helens Island near the Concord Bridge, but traffic on the island can get very congested at peak times and queues for traffic at the end of the day are sizable. For this reason, the metro might be the best option. One other way to commute would be to leverage Montreal's bike-sharing scheme, BIXI. With over 500 stations around the city, it is a convenient way to explore Montreal's sites especially the city's many parks and green spaces. Personally, I'm very excited to attend my first Formula One Grand Prix in Canada to bring live footage to this channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.